Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpig. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here is your daily technical analysis of Brent Crude Oil and Spot Gold. Ice Brent Crude Oil Futures. A large bullish white soldier that is also day two in a two-day separating lines pattern, usually seen as a bullish pattern. The market punched up through the slowly rising gold highlighted long moving average, currently 82.66, and had its based support by the significant combination of the recent 38.2% Fibonacci line at 82 even and the nearby 61.8% Fibonacci line of the influential 2014 to 2016 move at 81.86. The top side had been defined by the recent congestion between the 82 area up to the 84 area. Prices yesterday closed just up and outside this congestion zone. The next resistance now is the 50% Fibonacci line of the recent September to December 2023 move at 84.99. This resistance is notable as it managed to cap the market since late January. Beyond that, well, it seems to be a fairly clear territory until the October 2018 high 86.67 and the 50% Fibonacci line of the November 2020 to March 22 move at 87.41. Overall, we still have two patterns seemingly influencing the market. We have the original early November 2023 to late January 2024 reverse head and shoulders pattern with a bright green neckline. That's well below the market, currently at 72.37. And we also have the newer mid-December 2023 to date bull channel highlighted in bright red on my daily chart. And that's currently 79.96 to 89.22. Now the latter pattern seems to be in the ascendancy right now. Well, so far today, a continuation higher from the two-day separating lines pattern and a possible challenge to the 50% Fibonacci line at 84.99. Spot gold. A counter-reactionary bullish harami yesterday to the previous session's reactionary bearish black marabozo and a possible attempted resumption of now the nine-day or nine-session bullish move from uh, a week or so ago. The market more or less used the 61.8% projected Fibonacci line at 21.53 as a base for the move higher but chose to stay inside the previous session's action. Further down, we have the extension to the broken upper trend line, currently at 21.47, that is highlighted in dark blue on my daily chart. This is from the mid-August to mid-December 2023 ascending wedge pattern. Now further below, we have the first 50% projected Fibonacci line I had previously drawn at 21.41, as well as the November 2023 high at 21.35. Meanwhile, the top side is still capped by the 100% projected Fibonacci line at 21.93, despite it being penetrated last week. I recently put forward the idea that this move higher was part of a very large bullish halfway hesitation. So, in that case, if we took the action since about December last year to February this year, as the actual hesitation, halfway hesitation, then we have the first leg up from the October to early December 2023, and the action this March becoming the second leg up. This could give a potential target X overhead up well off the top of my daily chart in the 2265 area. Very high up, but something to consider as a potential. In the meantime, as I said earlier, the next 100% projected Fibonacci line is at 21.93 and the next 50% projected Fibonacci line is at 22.17. The nearest GAN number is at 21.60 and the nearest compound GAN number is at 2187. So far today, a counter-reactionary move today to yesterday's bullish harami, what looks right now like an immediate countering bearish harami. Thank you for listening. This short version broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Tofpik and ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here comes the final important bit.